With the clock ticking down to their season opener in Ireland, the UCF Knights got their first look at where they'll be playing. The team toured Croke Park in Dublin less than a day before they charge onto the field to take on Penn State. The West News Pat Clark is in Ireland and reports the game will have mutual benefits for both Ireland and college football. There was genuine wonderment on the faces of many UCF football players as they arrived at Croke Park Friday afternoon. The pregame walkthrough was the night's first glimpse at the stage they will occupy Saturday with Penn State. This is the Irish themed helmet UCF will wear. These guys are game ready, too, aren't they? I mean, they really are. I mean, I, I've never heard so much communication on the field. That's the sign I look at. I mean, a lot of times they sit there watching it and they, they don't react. But I mean, the communication that's gone on is probably as good as any I've seen. The Gaelic Athletic Association, based in Ireland, is the host of this game. And there is a method to this calculated madness expose more of Ireland to America and American football to Ireland. The links we have with the United States are very, very important to us. I mean, as a country, so many of our people have emigrated to the States, and we pride ourselves on our positive relation with the U.S., and I think any time we get an opportunity to welcome Americans to Ireland, that, that's a good thing. This massive pitch at Croke Park is being painted and lined today, and when you folks watch the game on TV tomorrow, you'll notice that the dimensions of American football are quite different than Gaelic football. Ample distance between sideline and stands, something the Knights are not used to dealing with, but a lot this week has been new. Well, I think uh, it's, uh, it's helping build bonds of friendship between two countries as well as uh, between two universities and their fans. Croke Park officials expect upwards of 35,000 Irish fans at Saturday's game, many, actually most, attending a college football game for the very first time. I think a number of them are fans, maybe two, three thousand are fans. A number are coming for the experience, and more just coming for the day out. What we want to do now is convert the, the, the day trip, as it were, to become long-term fans. With the Knights in Ireland, Pat Clark, West 2 News. Pat Clark will continue our coverage from Ireland. He'll have reports from Dublin through tomorrow's big game against Penn State. You can also watch all of his reports and adventures on WESH.com.